talking about EID in the sense of somebody maybe um, having an electronic passport or having an electronic ID card, um, and that, that being mobile, I mean, you can take the point of view the, the, the check, the verification becoming more and more mobile. So you see policemen and border guards running around with mobile devices, but you could also take it one step further. And then we are talking about, do I still need a traditional ID document like my passport or ID card when I have an iPhone or I have a, a, a Nokia phone and have an NF, uh, NFC enabled phone? So how is our perception of, of, of identity and identity documents really changing? And I believe in the, in the long run, uh, we are really um, going away from traditional ID documents um, more to having um, certain um, identities, um, secured identities stored on mobile devices. And I believe in the long run, this really is the trend. We see in the near future not only mobile phones, we see a combination of mobile phones with computer power, like tablets. And in this case, you have more interface like GPS, like uh, GSM, like NFC, like Wi-Fi. So with this you have a kind of computer power together with mobile functionality. And with your computer you can do any e-government service at, at this time at home. So that means in the future you must need the same combination of uh, computer and identity documents in the mobile area. I think first you need to have the public acceptance and uh, certainly in today's world people have a real affinity to their mobile device, uh, carrying mobile phones everywhere we go. Um, and you see more and more transactions happening with mobile devices, you know, initially just downloads but now you can even board the airplane for example uh, with the mobile device. So as we continue down this road, you know, we again have technologies today allowing us to embed, you know, credentials onto a mobile device. And uh, certainly NFC technology helps to move that forward. First of all, it's crucial that uh, ID becomes mobile because everything is, could be in your mobile nowadays. It's uh, you could pay with your mobile, you could uh, use the tube with your mobile, uh, and you could also, you should be able to authenticate with your mobile. Uh, crucial is to have an, a secure entity, a trusted entity on your mobile. This could be an a secure micro SD card. This could be a, a, a secure part of the processor of the phone itself, but this is crucial. I don't see that the EID will be on the mobile because the mobile use uh, uh, change uh, from time to time and so on. But what I see is that you make use of the mobile as a reader. For example, with uh, near-field communication, you can use your mobile as a reader for your EID. Okay, in, uh, let me say, regions like Africa, it will take longer because of the infrastructure. In Europe, it will go for sure a bit faster, but also there in Middle Europe. I don't think that in Eastern Europe it will go fast, but we will see. This is really a new way for us.